Focus on the future. This is Focus on the Future at Sacramento City College. I'm very passionate about our program and what we do here. My name is Paul Esterbrook. I'm the program head or department chair for the photography program here at Sacramento City College. So are there jobs in photography? Yes. Is photography a competitive business? Very competitive. Literally everyone who has a camera is your competition as photographers nowadays, but it's our job to be better. And so we emphasize that if you take our courses and we organize them in degrees and certificates, then you will achieve the type of training that you need to go out and do work. Hi, I'm Cecilia Barkley. I'm Katie Davis. I'm Jillian Warren, and I'm from Sheldon High School. My name is Alonzo Binion. I am a junior at McClatchy High School. My name is uh, Jacob Mejia. I live in Elk Grove, um, and I attend a school called Sava. I go to Sava Charter School. Well, our kids are getting a, a very rare opportunity where they can be in a studio situation taking photographs uh, under professional conditions with professional equipment and see their work instantaneously to get a feel for what it would be like to do uh, a real photo shoot. Using a digital SLR and studio lighting and they're getting to work with a model for the first time, asking them to move, stand, look. If you're in an advanced class right now, you get to check out studio lights, you get to take home kits and stuff like that over the weekend. So that's very big, because if I'm not getting equipment in your hands, you guys are not doing what? Developing your portfolio. It's really exciting. The students are in two different photo shoots today. These are all students who are gonna take this experience back for next year as seniors. They'll be the leaders in their classroom too because they've had this opportunity. And then next year, I'm sure they'll come back for more. So they're out of their comfort zone working with somebody that they don't know because typically when we do portraiture work at school, they know the classmates and they pick somebody that they're familiar with. But this is a great opportunity to get them in a place where they're not comfortable. So I love it. I'm really, really happy to be here. And now that when I go back to school, I can have a better understanding of the program here so I can sell it and I can be somewhat of a sponsor of the program at school. I like shooting architecture, landscapes, people. I'll sit there at home and I'm on my phone and I just scroll through and I just love, I just love pictures in general. I like shooting all types of photography. I'm landscape, portraits, I do anything. So I figured might as well do something that you love. These are graduates from about two years ago that you're seeing out here, and they're some of our most um, successful graduates. And they're come by to talk to you guys about what they do and how they do it. That's the beauty of photography. Your work is not a one-time deal. Your work is going to live. You can make great work and then show it to people. And that's what I've been trying to do my whole career is do great work, and show it to people. And the next day, do a little bit better work and show it to more people. You can't just get one camera and like do these kind of events because sometimes the lighting could be off at a venue or uh, you just have to be prepared and you have to have everything. <laughs> Say for instance, we put together an hour long radio documentary. In that one hour documentary, we'll throw it up on air. We'll have written stories to go with the documentary. We'll have videos and photos. I mean, all kinds of stuff to make it interactive and interesting. What I'm trying to show you as a photographer is something you wouldn't see, right? Um, the other thing I would say about commercial photography is you have to be a person who is interested in collaborating with other people. You have to interact with art directors, graphic designers, ad agency people, makeup artists, models, or just regular people. On days where I'm not shooting, it's still a good eight hour day. I'm still spending a lot of time editing, cold emailing, uh, checking in with all my clients, updating my website, working on my blog. I mean, there's a million things that you have to do. You're not only uh, being the creative photographer, you know, you're being the business person. You're wearing a lot of different hats. I learned a lot here. I would highly recommend going through this program. I don't want to waste your time in our program. We're going to get you in, we're going to get you out, we're going to give you the training that you need. I would like to get into journalism, photography. I just hope that I could actually pursue being a photographer. And I, and I do see myself coming here. And I am a photographer.